Dr. Rico here. This is an introduction to my mini course, Robotic Planning and Kinematics. The syllabus link and notes are in the description. All right, section 1.2, the bug zero algorithm. Starting from the scenario illustrated in figure 1.1, remember there was a start point, there was an end point or a goal point, there were obstacles, there was a two-dimensional workspace, right? That was figure 1.1. Suppose the robot heads towards the goal position from the start position. How does the robot handle collisions with obstacles? Note that the robot sensor is local so that the robot only knows it has hit an obstacle. It doesn't know when it's going to, for instance, long in advance. We need a strategy to avoid the obstacle and move towards the goal destination. Clearly, it won't be able to go through the obstacle. It has to avoid it somehow. What follows is our first motion planning algorithm, the bug zero algorithm. While not at the goal, move towards the goal. Remember, we know what direction the goal is in. If we hit an obstacle, while not able to move towards the goal, follow the obstacle's boundary moving to the left. And then if we are no longer hitting an obstacle, we can move towards the goal again. All right, so that's the, that's the algorithm. Moving to the left means that the robot is just sliding along the obstacle boundary, i.e. circumnavigating the obstacle boundary in a clockwise fashion. Clockwise, if you look at it from above, right, as we are in the figure. The moving direction, left or right, is fixed but irrelevant. We only need to designate one preferred direction to turn once the robot hits an obstacle, either left or right. We had left in the algorithm here. A right-turning robot will circumnavigate an obstacle in a counterclockwise fashion, again viewed from above. A right-turning robot follows the same path as a left-turning robot in a reflected world. As shown in figure 1.2, right here, we label the point on the obstacle boundary where the robot hits the obstacle as P hit, and the point on the obstacle boundary where the robot leaves as P leave. So here's our start, head towards the goal. We have a P hit, we hit an obstacle. We turn left, we follow until we can start moving toward the goal again. And we do until we hit another obstacle, another P hit, turn left, continue to follow that circumnavigating the obstacle until we have a clear shot at the goal again that we can move toward the goal. And in this case, we have a clear shot right to it. Okay, so that's the algorithm working in a very simple case. Note. So that's the algorithm working in a very simple case, and it actually works in this case. We were able to get to the goal. Note we are not being very careful clarifying whether the robot moves in discrete steps or in continuous time. For now, imagine that the robot can move smoothly visit all boundary points, take a measurement at each point, and store the distance from the closest boundary point. Okay. The bug zero algorithm does not always find a path to the goal. Unfortunately, our bug zero algorithm does not work properly in the sense that there are situations, meaning workspaces, obstacles, start and goal positions, etc., for which there exists a solution a path from start to goal, but the bug zero algorithm does not find it. We will talk more later about the correctness of an algorithm, and in particular about the notion of completeness, which is a property of an algorithm, or a potential property of an algorithm. This example in the figure 1.3 illustrates a periodic loop generated by the algorithm bug zero. At the end of each loop, there is no complete progress to the goal. 
as we see, we start toward the goal, we turn left, we go, oh, now we're freed up to move toward the goal, we do so, we hit the same obstacle actually, and we follow it around to the left, circumnavigate back, and we will just continue this loop over and over again. We're not able to progress toward the goal in the end. We're not able to complete progress to the goal. So uh, that is section 1.2. I'll see you next time for the bug one algorithm. Take care.